guys so follow me once again by the soap ingredients that i promised you in january so i'm in the market now yeah let's go get it Mm -hmm. Make sure you tell them you want double foam, please. Double foam, right? Insist. And please, you help me and label it. Then, what of uh, bleach? <laughs> 15, how much? Yes. Four, five. It is very important for you to tell them to number it for you. I think it's about 11 ingredients. Tell them to put numbers. One, two, three, the way it should come. Do you understand? Tell them to label it for you. It's very important for you to do that. And tell them your choice of color. Tell them the color that you want. The color comes in different color. I think I've done pink, yellow, green, blue. So tell them the one that you want. But for the purpose of this class, I think we are going to go down. We're going to go with green. So what is doing here now is labeling it like putting the numbers one, two, three, four to 11 that's what it's doing right here and as for the bleach the bleach doesn't need numbering so it's not gonna number the bleach because doesn't we don't we don't have any rules guiding the bleach the bleach is very simple which i'm going to be showing you in the next video after this one so yeah after packing my order made my payment and then head up to the house don't be on back. Yes, ma'am. I don't want to do this. It's Saturday morning. So we're going to be making that soup today. So this is these are the soaps ingredients. That day I do remember to bring them from the castle. This is how it is. Uh, so they are already labeled and this is how they have from number one i don't know why i'm 12, saying 12 okay? it's 11. so the first rule is that you're going to separate all the dry ingredients away from the wet ingredients all the dry ingredients keep them the warm side first irregardless of their labeling do you understand keep them yeah keep them like that these are the wet ingredients these are the dry ingredients so these are the dry ingredients and these are the wet ingredients i'm separating them hmm? now they have numbers right they already numbered them they label it for us in the market the rule is that inside your water all the all the dry ingredient comes in first all the dry ingredients comes in first before the wet ingredient and we are going to be following the labeling so this is how it works now we have the number one here be keeping them we are going to arrange them according to their numbers this is number one and then this is number two okay this is number three because that's how we are going to put them inside the water then there is no four and there's no five right so meaning four and five four and five are on wet ingredients so this is five so this is four this uh this is foam this is the foam ingredient this is four so be labeling them just be arranging them the way they are this is four and five they are here now let's move to six this is six number six is dry ingredient so put it so this is one, two, three, four and five are on wet ingredients. So we jump to six. Okay. This is number six. 
Now, number seven. Number seven is wet ingredient. Yeah, seven is wet ingredient, and this is it here. See. Four, five, six is wet. <coughs> six is wet. Uh, six is dry ingredient is already here. Then number seven is wet ingredient, which is going to be here. Then we move to number eight. This is eight, and it's also a dry ingredient. Put it here. Then here is number nine. Nine. Is wet ingredient, put it according to you know. I'm arranging them according to their numbers now. This is nine, then this is um, where is ten? Okay, so this is ten, which is going to be here. Yes, and this is the last one, which is eleven, which is also a dry ingredient. So we are not going to be putting this one here because this is the color. So this last one is the color. So that's going to be the very last. And I, I was thinking there are 12, but it's 11. Okay. Because this one now is two and they are together. So that's why I was thinking it's 12 all along. So this is the last one, which is a dry ingredient, but it's the color. The color. So it comes in last, no matter what. It comes in last and it's 11. So put it here. So do you understand the arrangement? Now, if, I'm, if I want to start putting them inside water, I'll start with all the dry ingredients according to the way i have arranged them number by number by number like so before i will now continue with the wet ingredient like this hope this place very simple don't follow the number according to one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven no don't do that if you do that it's going to it's not going to come out nice the way mine used to come out my, my own used to come out nice as if it's made in the factory just like liquid water we used to buy in store okay so no difference same consistency the same everything okay so this is what i have done it's very simple very easy so next thing now i'm going to show you the measurement of water that we need don't forget when we're buying we told them we want 15 liters we are not going to be making that to be 15 liters so we are going to be making it to be 20 liters i bought 15 liters but when i'm doing it now i'm going just going to use my paint bucket paint bucket i'll fill the water that is the size that i'm going to be using for the mixture then you get yourself a large bowl that you're going to pour the water in. That a paint bucket is just like a measurement for us, okay? So let's let me get the water. Don't forget we have arranged it according to the way we want to be putting it inside the water. Yes, it's okay, it's okay. So this is the size you need. Like you fill it to the brim for your paint bucket. I believe it's easy to get a paint bucket that that will be your size. Then you now pour it inside your large container. So let's do that. I'll pour it inside the large container. Okay, guys, so let's do this. So this is the stick I'm going to be using to turn it. You can cut any stick from your garden, from anywhere, just to turn it, just for turning it. If you have anything that can serve as this, that is just what you what you are going to be using. So this is what I'm going to be using. It's just a regular stick. You can see the way it is. That's what I'm going to be using to turn it. Okay. So like I said, I bought this container from those people that are selling it. So you make sure you use your energy and turn. It's all in the turning, guys. It's all in the turning. So let's start the way I have arranged it. So... This is number one. So I'm going to put the number one in. Put the number one ingredient inside. And be ready to turn, guys. Be ready to turn. Because it's all in the turning. It's very simple but you have to turn it very well guys it's all in the turning all the dry ingredients so next maybe after turning for like about two minutes two minutes i'm not timing it but maybe after about two minutes you put in the second ingredient
then you turn turn very well it's all in the turning guys turn again for like about two minutes Next, let's go in with number three. This is number three, you can see. You put it in. Not because I'm making video now, I'm stopping. You're not supposed to be stopping as you're doing it. Like, you just be pouring it and be missing. Don't, don't stop. Just be turning. We're going with the next one, which is number six. This one is like rice. See. So after number number three, you go to number six. <sighs> Make sure you turn until the rice disappear. Like it becomes like water i don't know if you can see the inside it has started foaming but this is not where we are going <laughs> so make sure you turn very well turn it for like about after you put the rice turn it for like about, about 10 minutes yes it's all about the turning turn it very well until everything becomes liquid like dissolved with the water put in your energy put in your efforts guys you want a very good and smooth liquid wash so put in the work so if you are selling this so that your competitors will not know your secret your own secret is different from theirs you know my you know some people now their home will be drawing like hot cross soup no this one will just come out you know the way liquid washes when you buy it in the store exactly like that that's what you are going to get so now let's go to the last dry ingredient which is number eight so you put in your number eight. Put in your number eight. <clears throat> Control this things. I think it's only that number six that is a little bit difficult to dissolve. So once you get edge of that, the next one is easy. So you turn again after putting the last right ingredient and turn for about two minutes again. Then, before you now start putting in the wet ingredient, that is the liquid ingredient. So, now we are done with all the dry ingredients, moving on to the liquid or wet ingredient. Okay, so you start putting them in. And you'll be turning. Let me see those again. That's why I'm a tailor. So as you're putting it, you'll be turning it. This black one is the first liquid ingredient that is going to enter. This is the first liquid ingredient that will come in. And it's two because we ask them that we want double foam okay that's why it's two because we want double foam that's why it is two even me i used to do it without the double foam i used to come out my hands just that when you do the double foam it foams better i don't even know how i got to start asking them for this double foam i don't know i shall not want this just started asking them did i see somebody say that i don't know I wish I could get the pieces to clean my hand. It's 
so you see what i was telling you the, the other time once you put in that black thing because that's the foam foaming ingredient there everything will just turn double like see see the way it's foaming assuming you put it at number four you know you'll not be able to turn that rice very well that number six you won't be able to turn it away so it becomes difficult to turn but you, you know keep keep turning come on continue turn 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 Oof. I Is it because I home is in office first? It's touching you, right? So after turning very well, you see the foam has started to go down, like it has started to settle in. You know, before it was full, but now it has gone down. So make sure you turn it well with your own energy. So moving on to the next wet ingredient, we have this, which is number five. Number five. Start turning it. Start turning it so that it's because this one to use to form lump. This number five. When you put in this number five, please turn it well. Because it used to form lump if you don't do it well. Hey, sorry. Just just a little. Just just wait a bit. Scoop it in here. See ya. It's all about the tony. So moving on to the next one. Don't worry about this one. This one is liquid. And this is labeled number seven. Now, the next one is labeled number nine. Turn again. Hope you are following. You know. You can start selling this. Do it in large quantity and start selling. Whew. I'm getting tired. <sighs> the very last wealth ingredient. Uh -huh, this is the scent. Yes, this is the scent. Hmm. Can you smell it? Smelling like lemon. So, guys, we are almost done. So, this is the last ingredient and is the color. So, the color, we don't just pour it in. You now bring in your small cup. You're going to mix it with just a little bit of water. And this is the number 11, the very last one. About green color this time around. You can do any color of your choice. 
the last one i did was color blue you can do yellow you can do pink you just ask them any color you want so you miss the you miss the color inside water before pouring it in and this color green i did <sighs> Put it small water because the thing is still there. Then you miss quite in. Yeah. That's alright. So now you turn very well, cover it, leave it to sit for 24 hours before you start using it. So I'm going to cover it when I'm done, and tomorrow I'm going to come back. I show you tomorrow is Sunday. I'll come back here just to show you. So, guys, this is it. We are done. You can see the way I'm sweating. Make sure you put in your effort to turn. It's all about the turning. Make sure you turn very well until everything dissolves. Like you can see the way it is, it's still forming now. So that's why you have to leave it, let it sit for 24 hours before you now start using it. As it is like this, you can start using it if you can all wait, but it's better you just allow it to sit for 24 hours. And you see, after 24 hours, I'll come back and show you. You can see it's all forming and forming now. So you not really see the color that is there. It's still very forming. So you allow it to sit for minimum. 24 hours and after 24 hours guys i'll come back and i'll show you you see this little one that's on this stick it can wash the whole nation so don't just throw it you can just use your hand and scoop it in but i don't want to do that because this this stick is already peeling i don't want it to mess my stuff up but we'll use it and wash something oops so I'm going to be mixing the jig now. Make sure you turn in next week so that you can see how I'm going to do the jig. I'll miss the jig today so that by next week you'll be able to see it. Okay. Last but not the least, all your leather or everything, make sure you tie it properly and dispose properly away from reach of children, I beg. Make sure you discard them properly. Don't let children play with it. It is poisonous. It's dangerous and harmful. So please discard it properly. Tie it. You see, I put everything inside one layer. I'm going to tie and I'm going to discard. So you dispose it, please, away from children. As it is like this, I'm taking it straight to the trash bin outside the compound, not in the kitchen. Outside the compound. All right, guys. So let me give you one just before I go. Hmm. I remember there was a time in 2020 after the lockdown, I was having one help then. So I now made this liquid watch. She was with me. We did it together. And you know what this girl did? After we finished making the jig, she made sure she followed. She was asking me. I didn't know her mission. I was just teaching her. As I was doing it, I was telling her. That's the next day she now came to meet me that auntie ma I want to go back to my village. I said, Ha, huh, you just came now, it's not even up to a month. She said you are going. She said yes, that she's going. That she's sorry that this was not the agreement, but she came here just for the sole purpose of saving up and you know to start something with her life. So this girl, her name is Peace, by the way. She said Yesterday, that when I was doing the liquid wash, that I just click her mind that she too she can start and start selling it in her village. That she wants to go back to the village to start selling the liquid wash because she has learned how I made it. What will I do? It's a good thing that she wants to go and start up her life like that. But I felt betrayed. I don't know. I just, but you know. The way they used to do so i had to let her go she left that day we we are seeing to her sometimes she's still cold but i don't know what i feel about it whether i'm happy or i'm not happy but 
it is what it is so that's the little gist all right guys so if you want to start selling this it's a good 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 business you're going to make a lot of money you sell it at your own price like now you can see this is 20 liters and and we bought it for just six thousand is there receipts there <laughs> we bought the we bought we bought the we bought the liquid wash we bought the liquid wash for six thousand I think I bought the liquid wash and the bleach everything here according to the receipt is eleven thousand three fifty. So with let's say twelve thousand naira now you can start up a business like you can start your own business selling your bleach and selling your liquid wash and there's no how you will sell this that you will not sell it more than twenty five thousand naira but that you portion it inside the container small small and put your own price you will make a lot of money on this at least there's no how you will not make times two of this money that you spent in making it and it sells pretty fast because everyday people use liquid wash and if they know you that you are selling a very foamy liquid wash they will definitely patronize you because it foams very well and it's cheap at least you're not going to be selling it the amount of money fresh is selling their stuff happy <laughs> so you can sell it maybe one liter you, you know you just find a way to sell and make sure yeah you do it so it's a good source of business like you can start up your business and with just little capital just little capital doesn't cost you so much eleven thousand three fifty that's the total amount i spent in making the liquid wash as well as the bleach 20 liters each 20 liters each let's say you sell one liter for 1000 naira. you know what liter is 1000 naira. they will buy it it sells very fast and you will make money on it so it's a quick you know yeah so you will not say not do anything for you this year so make sure you like comment and share and tell me in the comment section Yinka you are sweet I want to be hearing that every day on this channel on this page you guys should be typing it there Yinka you are sweet so that my head can be swelling I can be bringing you more and more ways of making money in this 2024 we got to secure the bag guys we got to secure the bag all right see you tomorrow when I'm going to when I'm going to be showing you the final final uh look of our liquid wash and then on saturday next week i'm going to be showing you the bleach all right i love you see you next time ciao guys today is sunday so let's look at our liquid wash it has finally settled down you can see where it's stopping here this is 20 liters exactly 20 liters can see it so i'm going to bring it close so that i can open it for us yeah my this is after 24 hours and i'll take it to the house now so that we can use it and see guys this is oh let's see it hmm, it smells really good i love the smell it smells really really good mm. It smells like lemon, just like lemon. This really comes out really nice. It comes out really, really nice. It has settled down. See the consistency. Can you see? So we'll go to the house now. Guys, you cannot tell the difference. See the color. See the consistency. It looks really nice. Can you see? Just like honey. I like it. So I'll take it to the house. And then yeah. Let's go.
It's full? It's full. It's full, right? Hello, who are you? Fine, sir. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. Good Hello, sir. Okay, that was up. You got my head. 